Hello everybody, it's Yashar here, back again with another video to help you experience something new today. In this video, I will quickly review Relix VR new paid coasters. Relix VR is one of my favorite roller coasters for Gear VR. The original map, I mean Diamond Cave, was really fun and immersive. It had very good graphics, excellent physics, and on top of that, it was free. For a long time I was looking forward for more coasters from this developer and after almost 2 years they finally decide to add new coasters to this game. This time they come back with 2 new paid coasters, Dragon World and Shark Island, each of them for about 3 Canadian dollar. When you release something really good for free, you set a standard for yourself. I expect them to step up the game significantly in the new releases, especially when it is a paid content. In my opinion, the new coasters come at least two steps backward from the original and I don't like them at all. It's just like they say, give me some cash. These developers watch these kinds of videos and read our comments because they want to sell more. If you stay silent about their progress, they will develop any crap and sell it to us. And we don't even have the option to refund on Oculus store. So I think it is a good idea to let them know we want them to work harder and bring us better experiences and no low effort cash grab rushed releases. That's being said, let's start the review. Okay, I start with the things I don't like about the new paid coasters. First thing I don't like about these new paid coasters is the water reflection and also brightness level. This is absolutely ridiculous and I don't know what developers think when they add these kinds of water reflection and water effects to the experience. It's annoying and destroy your vision during the experience. On top of that, the illumination pattern is completely wrong. The whole scene is over bright, which is not realistic. Second thing I don't like about this new paid contents is the huge frame rate drops. You should experience it yourself to understand what I'm talking about, but frame rate changes dramatically during the experience and it is easily kills the immersion for me and it will kill the immersion for you as well. Next thing I don't like about the experience is the physics of the coaster. The original one was awesome in this regard, but these two new coasters are average. The 360 spins do not add any immersion to the experience and it's only a headache. And there is only one or two breathtaking moments in the whole experience, which is completely a failure. Sometimes your coaster will speed up in the uphill and slow down in downhill, which I don't like it at all. Finally, the price tag. I'm cool to pay for a good game or roller coaster, but if they could make these coasters better or at least on par with the original free ones. You can't make something good for free and then something below the average as a paid content. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't like the price tag at all. Overall, the Dragon World was a little bit better than Shark Island, but both of them are worse than the original Diamond Cave. My final verdict for Relix VR Extra Coasters is a 3 out of 10. It's a complete failure for the developers after a successful free experience. The original one was an about 9 out of 10, but these two new ones are definitely below the average. I don't recommend them to you guys unless you are really want to experience all of the coasters on the market. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to the channel. That's being said, stay tuned for the next episode. See you soon. Farewell.